Hi, my name is Nathan, and today we're going to do a comic book review of Venom, issue number seven, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. We begin this issue with the semi-truck pulling up to Baywater. He drops off Bellum disguised as a dude with the hoodie, baseball cap wearing jeans. The driver wishes him farewell with his parting words, being that bad stuff is happening in Baywater and the whole town is going to hell. Not just yet, says Bellum. He's got business to deal with. That business is with Dylan Brock, Venom. He wants to be a hero and he's knocking out the biker gang stash houses and eliminating dirt, if you will. Sons of Anarchy, Venom style. What Dylan doesn't know is what he's doing to Len and his gang is pointing smoke and eventually fire back to Jake and his bar and his gang. Quick reminder, Jake is housing Dylan and giving him a place to stay and eat. Venom overtakes Dylan and wants to end this biker gang and Dylan begs him not to kill. We don't do this. Venom tosses the biker gang dude aside and doesn't like to hold anything back and calls Dylan a scared little brat who thinks he could be like Spider-Man. Venom exposes Dylan's face and tells him, look at all this destruction. This is who we are. And if you keep holding me back, it'll be us who are dead or dying. The guy gets a good look at Dylan and recognizes him and concludes that Jake was behind all the hits by default. He ends it with, Jake deserves what he has coming to him next. Sleeper warns Dylan that they've got other problems as he's tracking chemical signatures upwind the eastern edge of town. The Life Foundation and the ultimate anti-symbiote weapon, Spearhead. Venom is familiar with this foe and he didn't do too well the last time they met. They need to get out while they're still standing and you've got to respect this. Dylan doesn't want to leave while Jake is in trouble. He wants to go check on him before he leaves so he has to go to the bar first to make sure Jake is alright. Sleeper leaves to slow down the Life Foundation while they do their thing and he'll track them down because Venom has a sense of old socks. Is that a teenager reference? <laughs> I suppose so. At the bar, Len and his gang have a face off with Jake and his gang. Jake tells Len that no one is trying to be a hero and he just wants to keep what's his. No more bloodshed needs to be shed. Len tells Jake his side of the dilemma. Word is some alien is tearing up my stuff all over town. He can't tell his business associates that because it leaves him exposed and they won't believe him. So he's got to give him something and that something or someone is Jake because his associates will buy that. Len wants to tell his associates that it was the renegade gang who hit up the stash houses now he has jake's head on the pike to show for it things will go back to normal guns get drawn out and jake puts his hand out saying that he's seen enough blood and we're gonna go old school a one-on-one -on -one fight leader against leader if jake loses len can blow everything up ashes to ashes if jake wins len leaves his crew and his bar alone either way len still has jake's head at the end of this Jake salts Bay a little bit more salt to this challenge by asking Len if he still got motor oil in his veins or is it all whiskey and water. Len accepts the challenge. On the rooftop, Venom and Dylan are overlooking the smoke to locate Jake's bar from up high. Venom warns Dylan, Dylan, there's something. Bella comes in with the ambush attack before even Venom can cover up Dylan's face. And at that point, this is an awesome fight scene where Bedlam is just wiping the floor with Venom, just going ham on it. Get off me, son. Boom. You must be Venom, you little squishy, wishy thing. Come here. Venom's like, dude, don't we need to get Jake? Don't we need to go back there, Dylan? So Venom is like, okay, so just for this purpose is only, there's no holding back from destroying an oversight Clintar Gecko, right? We can go all in. And Dylan's like, yes, let's do it. So Venom unleashes a haymaker on Balin, clobbers him back, and tells him, you'll never learn. This never goes well. No matter how much juiced up Life Foundation goop they put you on, and Balin's like, Life Foundation? You must not have no idea what I am or who I am. Oh, I know who you are, says Venom. Dead meat, wraps him up in chains and impels his head, and he appears to be dead with blood going up. But I think us as the readers probably know better than Bedlam being truly dead. And that's just too easy. No way. No way. Len and Jake are going at it. And Len has the upper hand on Jake. But Jake won't go down. His resiliency, man. He's like, look, I got too much at stake here. I just can't go down like that. So Len doesn't like his perseverance or his grit and tells the gang, shoot him. But the gang's like, hey, sorry, Len. Grease pit rules. You want to break him? Do it yourself. So Len's like, what the hell is your problem? Why do you need to be a damn hero? And Jake's like, too much blood's been shed. I spilled too much blood and destroyed too many lives to ever be called a hero. But maybe, maybe this close to the end, I thought 
I thought I spilled some of my own blood for something better. Maybe I'm too far gone, but I can't go out like this, so I hope for a miracle. Here's your miracle. Shoots him in the head, Jake goes down, letting his gang unleash hellfire on Jake and the gang and the boys and just fire goes up. Dylan sees that, before he could go do anything about it, Balaam comes in from behind and just says, you ain't going nowhere, son. Balaam gets the upper hand and puts Venom in submission along with Dylan. Dylan's like, oh, what are you doing? And Balaam's like, not so bad. You think you killed me? You think I am soft and squishy like you in the middle? Even Dylan's like, oh my God, what are you? Balaam is my name. See, we can snap you like a twig if we wanted to, Venom. We are a king in black. But no, we want to make you stronger, don't we? This is calling back to Meridius and what he did in issue number five. And pain makes you stronger, doesn't it? Survive, survive and come back to us and look upon my face, boy. And he exposes himself as Dylan Brock's father, Eddie Brock. Is this where Eddie's been up to all this time? I don't know. And that's where we end this issue. If you dig the fight scenes, you'll love Venom issue number seven. The art is gangster as it captures every punch, kick. The plot is moving slow for me. Uh, that's just me. But for being issue number seven, I feel we should know more about the Life Foundation or where or in what is Eddie Brock up to or into. I think this Balaam conclusion is just a way to mess with Dylan Brock. But at the same time, I'm totally cool with this fight scenes in this comic book. Link in description if you wish to add this comic book to your comic book collection. With that being said venom issue number seven what you guys think of the comic book comment below let me know and also if you like the content we're throwing up you know what to do don't be shy and don't be stingy here rated comics we do awesome comic book reviews comic book related content with the occasional comic book giveaway thanks again for watching until next time <laughs>